One of the most surprising success stories of 2025 is the Geely Group, but not so much the group, which has been doing well, but even more so the Geely car brand itself. Geely sales this year have risen in spectacularly more than 200%. And Geely have just revealed the new Galaxy, which is the EX5. It's... um. It's a nice update, some good improvements. And this car is sold internationally around the world. It's been quite popular here in Australia. It's priced incredibly competitively. I think maybe possibly the best value EV you can buy right now, but it's just been updated already. Here are the details of the new update. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching the Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Prices have gone down. I'm not sure how the Chinese government's going to feel about this, but anyway, prices are down by around 3% and more range. There's a longer range version as well with 610 kilometers of range. Anyhow, let's have a look at these details. The updated 2026 model year Geely EX5 electric SUV was launched at a price of 15,000 US dollars in China. It's got the same price, but longer range, says Car News China. The brand's international sales driver has, well, the new version has 610 kilometers of CLTC range, so about 500 kilometers of WLTP range, and 215 horsepower. I personally, fortunately, was at the launch of this car and got to test drive it in China. The international version, they improved subsequently as a result of journalist feedback. They made suspension better. Uh, and this car is, for the price, it's incredibly good. I mean, legitimately, I have no reason, no financial gain involved in this. It's for the money. It's unbelievable value. And the fact that they've already gone and upgraded it is pretty staggering. The biggest upgrade of the 2026 model year is the range. The updated model got rid of the smaller battery, a 49.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. And what it's done is now, the 2026 model has only two versions. It's got the base model, which is the existing uh, bigger battery. It's a 60.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery that provides 530 kilometers of CLTC range, about 430 kilometers WLTP. The bigger battery, the 68.4 kilowatt hour battery, seems to have higher energy density because it provides 610 kilometers of range. Somehow, it has 80 kilometers more range, but only an eight kilowatt hour bigger battery. So really good return on investment on making that bigger battery, whatever they've done to that car. Very good range for the size of battery. So. WLTP is likely to be around 510 kilometers. That's pretty impressive. Now, the batteries they're using as well are also extremely impressive. They are the short blade battery, the Aegis short blade battery, and they are lithium ion phosphate, extremely safe batteries. So whilst offering longer range, the EX5 is still the same price, at least, at least for the time being anyway. In Australia and other markets, Will this new model come soon? I would assume it probably would. For some context here, it is a little cheaper than the BYD Addo 3. It starts at $1,000 less than the Addo 3, but it's a much bigger car. And the most expensive version is around $300 less than the most expensive version of the Addo 3. The car did have a top trim level that was $25,000 US dollars. That's gone now. Geely auto officials have highlighted that the suspension system of the 2026 EX5 was upgraded. And to be honest, that was a discussion. I remember having myself and two other journalists with the vice president of Geely. We said the suspension is a little loose and needs to be changed. And they've responded. They've changed it completely by the sounds of it. Its damping performance was enhanced by 20%. And it now has two additional colors, dawn blue and evening forest green. To give you some context here on the size, the dimensions of the car. It's um, it's actually slightly bigger than the Nissan Ariya and it's much, much cheaper. I mean, way cheaper. 
Its dimensions, 4,615 millimeters long and 1,900 millimeters wide. So it's about 4.6 meters long. The entry level car, the cheapest version, gets a 15.4 inch screen powered by Flim Auto operating system, six speakers and a surround view camera system. And I can tell you it all works pretty well in my experience. The flagship model has the level two ADAS, heated, ventilated and massaging front seats, a heads up display and 16 Flim sound speakers. And it doesn't cost that much more money. The Geely EX5 uses a single electric motor in the front axle with power of 160 kilowatt, that's 215 horsepower. It'll do zero to 100 in a respectable 6.9 seconds. Top speed, 180 kilometers an hour. The car's battery can be charged from 30 to 80% in 20 minutes. So not super fast charging, but not too bad. The Geely EX5's current cumulative sales apparently um, so far, 131,000. And Geely International highlighted that on the 4th of July, 2025, it had sold 150,000 of these cars worldwide. So credit to Car News China for providing this information in this report, or at least most of it. But I've got to say, kudos to Geely. They've basically figured out a way to bring out a car, not really discount it, but they did discount it, right? It's now got 80 kilometers more range, yeah? And the price hasn't really changed. So kudos is a very smart thing to do. It's one I obviously, I think you probably predicted, I predicted as well that car manufacturers would do this. Rather than lowering the prices, just offer a higher spec at the same price, you know, and just call it the same thing. Smart. Either way, no matter what the case may be, this is a great car and it just got even better. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye. Geely, you need to pay me for saying this. <laughs> I'm joking. Geely have just updated the EX5, which is one of my top five recommendations for buying. Buy is basically one of the five best value electric cars you can buy now. This new update, it's been seen in China, but I know where the factory is in China. I've seen it and it builds the same cars for other countries as it does as for China. Therefore, very likely that these upgrades will come to Australia, Europe, other markets where you can buy the Geely EX5. And it's a pretty good upgrade. It, well, I should say, I shouldn't say upgrade. It's a new model, a new version of the EX5. And it's the version I would be waiting for personally. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. And yesterday, I saw one of these cars driving in my local town for the first time ever.